Symphasia review. So as you guys can tell by today's video title, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about Symphasia, going through the pros, the cons, and just going over everything you need to know so you can make an informed decision to see if this tool is going to be right for your business. So um, without further ado, let's go and get started. So if you do want to actually go ahead and learn more about Symphasia, I will provide a link down below in the video description so you can actually go ahead and try out the tool. Um, at the time of recording this video, you can create a free AI video and actually kind of like try it out as well. Um, so again, if you do want to learn more about Symphasia and get it for the best price, um, because again, their um, official website will have the best price that is available, I'll provide a link down below to that in the video description for your convenience. So with that being said, let's begin today's video. So as you guys can see, I am inside the members area for Symphasia, and this is what it looks like. So once you go ahead and actually have a um, paid plan, you'll be able to have a simple dashboard that looks something like this as well. So. I think the first thing to go over is this is what your dashboard is going to look like. There's a bunch of templates that they actually already have, so you can easily just get started creating videos straight away. Um, as you can see, if we go over here to videos, you can see the videos you've created right here. If you have like any videos in the trash, you can delete them right here as well. In terms of the library, you can import your own media, music, fonts, and templates. So you can easily just, for example, add images, videos, and vectors. So upload your media files to your library to use inside of your projects. These can be JPEG files, etc., etc. And the same thing goes with music, fonts, and other different templates as well that you want to add to your videos inside Synthesia. So if we go over here to avatars, this is going to be one of the most interesting parts because you can actually use these AI avatars inside of your videos. As you can see right here, there's a giant list of them right here and the list is quite endless to be honest. So let's just go ahead and play uh, this avatar right here. And if we click on this avatar, we can obviously select the preview language and I'm just going to leave it as English for now and also what's cool about Symphasia is that you can actually use it for multiple different languages so it's not just like English as well you can use it for like um, other different languages throughout the world if you're looking to target different markets so let's go ahead and click on play and see what Alex sounds like hello this is a preview of what your video will look like click the create button to get started so yeah, as you can see, I can create a video with this avatar if I want to, and maybe I'll prefer a different avatar. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a random avatar right here. So let's just go ahead and choose uh, Monika. So if we click on play right here. Hello, this is a preview of what your video will look like. And again, one of the things I love about this is just the fact that how realistic the AI uh, spokesperson looks. So the fact that we can create videos like this without having to like go on third-party platforms to hire video spokespersons and things like that just really makes me really really excited because the potential of utilizing such software and tools like this is just absolutely endless now i guess a mild con is that you do have to choose the right voiceover for your particular um video and the intent of the video you're going to be creating for your business whatever the intent may be and obviously some of the ai videos in terms of like the actual voice isn't going to be 100% perfect because of course you know some people can tell that hey it's you know kind of like text speech and it's not perfect but a lot of the um, AI avatars and the text speech voiceovers are pretty good and again there's a giant list right here so um, it'll be impossible to go over all of these AI avatars in uh, one review video unless I wanted to make this video an hour long which isn't going to be obviously the best thing to do for you guys because I want to make sure I give you guys a quick and concise our review while going over everything you need to know about Synthesia. So um, if we go back over here to the um, home page right here and we click on new video, this is where you can actually create a new video for Synthesia and this is where the magic actually happens. And again, in terms of like Synthesia, if we go over here to their um, page right here, um, again, there's plenty of different features that make Synthesia quite powerful in our avatars like we've kind of like gone over already so you can choose from 150 plus different like AI avatars you can again use Synthesia to um, create videos in 120 different languages accents and voice tones of course it is a text-to-speech you know tool so you can simply type in your text and turn it into professional voiceovers in minutes um, you can create custom avatars as well which is a whole different thing so create your own custom AI avatar and your own digital twin which is absolutely insane um, you can add micro gestures to your avatar such as head nods or raised eyebrows 
um, and voice cloning as well. So you can even clone your own voice and pair it with your own custom AI avatar, which again is just a crazy feature in Social Synthesia. This technology is literally just absolutely insane, like where we're at in this world, um, the things we can do and the technology that's actually available to like all of us right now. So if we go over here to um, back to the dashboard, you'll see that there's three options you can choose in sort of Synthesia. So first of all, you can create a blank video. You can start from scratch with a blank canvas. Um, the second option is you can create your video with AI. And then the third option is going to be import PowerPoint. You can convert your slides to scene backgrounds. So in terms of like what to do and what I'd recommend, it's going to be obviously personally up to you. So if you already have like um, PowerPoints or like slides you can import into Synthesia, then of course you can just import it to PowerPoint right here inside of the Synthesia tool. Um, but I think for the most part, it's probably best just to choose a template. It'll make your life a lot more easier. So um, let's just go ahead and choose a template. So if we scroll down below, I'm going to go ahead and choose this template right here and let's click on use. And of course, if you click on generate, actually, so you generate video with AI, it will actually create a script for you and you just give it like different video topics or different like information to actually like generate a script that you can apply to your video. So um, we'll go through that later as well, but let's just go over the basics in terms of Synthesia and how it all works in terms of creating your video. So the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do is actually imp input your script into the software. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my script. Okay, so I've just put in a quick little uh, script right here. Of course, you're going to want to put in like a much longer script to create a longer video. I've just put in like a little bit of text just so I can demonstrate how this works inside of my review video. So you, again, you're going to want to go ahead and put in your script right here. And you can also add different scenes where you can import like other different like text to speech or text to your overall script. So um, I'm going to go over that as well. But in terms of like the language, you can click on what language you want to go ahead and use. So um, you can either have it be a US voice, an Australian voice, Canada, so you can even choose like what accent you want, um, the actual tone of the voice itself, and of course, if you scroll down below, the list is quite big, so if you want to like choose a different language, like Spanish, for example, you can go ahead and choose Spanish, and it's very, very simple to go ahead and change that as well. So you can also add like different things like markers to your script that can affect like the output of the um, voice generated by the AI, pauses and all that type of stuff as well. And again, if we click on add scene, we can add like a different scene. So let's just go ahead and click on add scene. And as you can see, this is going to be um, the second scene. So the first scene right here is for um, the first part of the video and the second scene is for the second part of the video and so forth in terms of like adding new scenes and then you can import your text right here and you can go ahead and keep on creating your video so in terms of customizing your video you can add uh, different avatars so let's just say I wanted to replace the avatar I can click on um, the avatar that I want to go ahead and use so I can go ahead and just click on Alex uh, Carla or whatever avatar that is listed here again there's quite a big list so I'm sure you won't be um, having any issues in terms of like variety of different um, voiceovers and different um, avatars you can use for your video um, text is pretty self-explanatory just adding your text um, you can add different shapes as well so I can add like this circle thing right here if I wanted to to my video and well, I'm not going to modify that too much. Let's leave it as it is. And I can easily change the color right here to, let's just say, orange. So it's congruent with the video itself. Okay. And I can always just modify the text right here as well. So I can just put in test for video. I can modify this or I can even like delete it if I want as well. It's very, very simple to do. So I'm just going to put in test for video because again this is just a test so I can demonstrate how it all works again it's very very simple to customize as well which makes using the, the uh, Synthesia tool quite easy and again you can modify the text with the fonts um, how big it is and all that type of stuff very very simply on the right hand side of the screen okay and then you can also add media so if you want to go ahead and actually add like videos like background videos or images to your projects you can all your videos you can go ahead and do that as well so if I want for an example a business setting so let's just click on business you can actually go ahead and choose plenty of different templates 
um, that we can add to our videos. So we have plenty of different like business videos right here um, that we can go ahead and utilize. So yes, very, very simple to do. And what's also pretty cool as well is that we can actually go ahead and record our like screen inside of Chrome. So if we click on record, we can actually record and add that to our video as well. So um, in terms of like what you can do, um, Cephesia is definitely not limited. There's quite a number of things you can do to really make unique content inside of Cephesia. So if you want to go ahead and actually play the um, text to speech, you can click on play right here and see what it looks like. And this is going to be a draft version. So the uh, avatar won't actually animate. So we have to like generate the video to see what it looks like in a second, but I want to show you what the draft version looks like so you can kind of see what it looks like um, when you're creating your own videos in Sonos Nephesia. Welcome to my brand new video. Today, I'll be showing you how to use the power of AI for your business. Okay, and if we also go back to our other scene that we added in today's video, we can also add in some more templates or like text right here to make it congruent with the first scene. So. We can just put in some text regarding like AI and of course in terms of like the images right here you can see like how the templates are very handy. We can actually change these images so we click on place video and just search up something to do with AI for example. So we'll just choose the first thing that comes up really so this looks pretty cool or this brain thing looks pretty cool and if we go over here we can click on replace video and do the same and let's choose something pretty futuristic so yeah, let's choose that. Okay, so as you can see, we've added the videos to the background of our scene and we've quickly add, added some text that's going to be um, congruent with what AI is all about. So what we can go ahead and do is click on play to actually see a full preview Welcome of the video. Brand new video. So what we can go ahead and do is click on generate. And we can put in the title, description, so let's just put in test for video and let's just generate the video so it'll take about like five to ten minutes depending on of course the, on the video length so like i said during the start of today's video you can generate video with ai as well so if you don't want to go and just create a template right off the bat or you don't want to create a blank video and start off with a blank canvas or import the powerpoint you can click on generate video with ai and this is pretty cool because you can still utilize the templates and you can just choose a template if you want, as you would normally do in Cytosynthesia. But you can actually put in like a bit of information so you can choose like the topic. So for example, the topic can be about um, AI and then we can just have a target business owners for an example, okay? So business owners. And then this way you can actually go ahead and have the um, AI generate a script for you based on this topic. So we'll just click on the templates and we can just choose the template that we want to go ahead and use. So we click on this template, for example, and that can that will be good enough for now. And of course, you want to actually give the you know AI. So you want to put in as much information here on the topic and the audience, so you can actually generate a script, or the AI can actually generate a script that's going to be helpful and that you can actually use. And then you can click on generate videos. But of course. You're going to want to go ahead and like edit the script and change things up to make sure it's going to be perfect for whatever you're doing in terms of creating the video for you so the script isn't going to be perfect again we're leveraging ai um it can be very helpful and i like to you know have the 80 20 rule approach in, in the sense that yeah you can let it do 80 percent of the work but you, you want to like 20 you know edit like 20 percent of it to make sure it's going to be helpful for you so as you can see it's generating a complete script for me it's you know pointing these um this text into different scenes as well and we can actually click on continue to editor and we can go ahead and customize everything the way we want so yes we can go ahead and do that you can see it's in different scenes again i just did this really really quickly just to quickly show you like what it looks like more or less um i think we i think we generated like the um, wrong avatar might have made a mistake there again we can easily change the avatars right here as well if you want to use a different one okay so as you guys can see the um video has generated you can see what it looks like right here and i'm going to go ahead and actually play um the full video right now so you can actually see what it looks like for yourself welcome to my brand new video today i'll be showing you how to use the power of ai for your business ai has quickly become a vital tool for anyone looking to leverage automation within their business. Okay, so as you can see, it's 
pretty cool it's extremely extremely powerful and i generated that um relatively quickly and i was just kind of going through a quick demo so i can showcase um how the tool works and start off this review now in terms of how much symphasia is going to cost there's going to be two pricing plans there's going to be the personal plan and the enterprise plan it's probably going to be um in your own currency once you actually land on their pricing page so for me it's 26 euros per month and for the enterprise, there's an option to essentially contact them and book a demo to discuss the pricing. So I guess a bit of a con, in my personal opinion, is the fact that you are restricted to only 10 videos per month. And you can only correct, get like um, a maximum of 10 scenes per video, which is unfortunate. So there is a bit of restrictions in that regard. And, you know, you still get 90 plus avatars, which should be more than sufficient, um, 120 plus languages, voiceovers, um, AI uh, script assistance, and all that type of stuff as well. I guess it's just like, unfortunately, they are slightly restricted, but of course, for the pricing plan per month, you know, it's still not a bad deal considering like we can create the videos that are showcased to you um, in today's review. So you've got to keep that in mind as well. Um, but of course, if you do want to go with the enterprise plan, you can go ahead and book a demo to discuss that with them as well. So it's always an option that you can consider if you're going to be creating a lot of videos for your business or whatever it may be you're doing. So that's basically it for today's Symphasia review video. If you do want to go ahead and learn more, I'll provide a link down below in the video description. And um, yeah, thanks for watching today's Symphasia review video.